is your first alert five weather with Mike Daniels. The snow continues to pile up on Wolf Creek Pass. We recorded this about three o'clock this afternoon. Look how deep the snow is on that roadside on the right side of your screen right there. Wolf Creek has picked up 235 inches of snow so far this season, which really isn't all that much because they average about 460 inches of snow every year. So they're about halfway there outside right now. We have got mostly clear to partly cloudy skies across all of the news five viewing area. 37 degrees is the current temperature in Colorado Springs. No wind, so no wind chill to deal with in Pueblo. 39 degrees and no wind in Pueblo as well. So not bad out there. Here's your weekend, the last weekend of January and it's shaping up to be a beauty Sunday. There's your outdoor day. There's no professional football. 55 degrees, lots of sunshine. I'll be out there. Pueblo, great weekend, especially on Sunday. Kind of rare to get a 60 degree high this time of the year. Run with that while you can because we're tracking a storm system on the way. I know it's a long way off, but we always like to give you the first alert on the possibility. We're going to see snow possible in that forecast by late Monday night. There you go. This is 10 p.m. Monday night. Snow across parts of the Pikes Peak region all the way back to the Continental Divide. And then if they come together, things come together the way we think they can, we're going to see snow across our area, even the lower elevations by Tuesday. Of course, a lot's going to happen with the models here between now and Tuesday. We'll certainly keep you updated as you continue to watch News 5. Round here tonight, snow continues to fall across the higher elevations. I mentioned this earlier in the show, but it's worth mentioning again. Wolf Creek, or I should say Levita Pass, is closed right now both directions due to snow and wind. Round here tomorrow, you're going to see quite a few clouds from time to time, but at least I think we'll see a few more sunshine breaks as we work through the day compared to what we had today. Then those clouds finally start to clear out late tomorrow. Tomorrow night. It was a mild day this morning. We started our morning at 26 in Pueblo, 29 in Colorado Springs. Those numbers way above average, but temperatures today due to the clouds topping out at only 41 degrees this afternoon. Warm spots in the state, Trinidad and Lamar afternoon highs at 54 degrees. Outside right now, we've got 20s and 30s across most parts of the News 5 viewing area. Lows tonight again, just like last night, warmer than average. These numbers about 10 degrees warmer than average, so the furnace won't have to work quite as hard as it normally does this time of the year. Afternoon high temperatures tomorrow, product of a nice push of breezy warm air ahead of a cold front. That cold front gets here probably after sunset tomorrow evening. That's the way it's looking right now. It'll bring much cooler air around here on Thursday. We'll see lots of sunshine Thursday, but the high temperature back down to 41 degrees. Nice warming trend as we start rolling into that weekend. Get the appetizer on Friday. The main course will be served over the weekend. That's a beauty for late January in southeastern Colorado. Still a mild day on Monday, then late Monday into Tuesday. If that storm materializes, we're going to see a change in the pattern with the possibility of finally seeing some of that much needed moisture around here. Probably you get a no worries weather pattern over the next several days. Yes, it'll be almost 10 degrees cooler Thursday, but that's still warmer than what you had today. And you'll see blue sky sunshine all day on Thursday. Big time warming trend Friday, Saturday into Sunday, still mild mannered on Monday. And then the possibility of seeing some shower activity. Finally, some precipitation in your forecast late Monday night into Tuesday for Canyon City precipitation opportunities go up next week, but you'll have to be patient. That storm system late Monday into Tuesday is the next time you have a shot at moisture. So the bottom line, enjoy the next several days. It's really going to be nice around here. The trend continues and for Woodland Park, dry skies for at least the next five days, Monday afternoon into Tuesday, your next shot of getting some of that much needed snow.